Welcome back, everyone. Another episode of Big Sky Farms at Westbridge Hills. And we are still here doing the slurry game. Um, as you can see, we're working our way across a grass patch. Uh, putting down a little bit of slurry. We did run into a slight issue in that it is not pumping from the uh, dairy barns, from those freestyle barns, into our uh, liquid tank, uh, the tank that we put in. So, as we get down here a little bit more, we're going to have to grab some of that out of the um, uh, out of the individual freestyle barns as we go along. Um, however, something kind of new and interesting that's uh, going to be going on this video is the dealer uh, that we work with for our liquid manure stuff. Uh, they've picked up a new line um, of equipment and they wanted to uh, try it out, um, get some demo hours out, uh, get their techs and their salesmen familiar with the machine and whatnot. Um, so they're going to be out today um, in a couple of our fields uh, doing a little bit of work with, uh, with the uh, self-propelled machine actually. Um, so that'll be kind of an interesting thing for us. Um, we'll take a little break here in just a bit and go um, check that out, check those guys out, see what they're doing. Too. But uh, let's leave you guys with just a little bit of a time lapse here while we get that set up and get these two fields finished up here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs>
come back here live. We are just finishing up this field. And there we go. So what we've got going here is we've got that field all finished up. And we don't have enough uh, liquid manure in our big tank here. So what we're going to do is something kind of different. We're just going to kind of fill up here. And what we'll try to do um, is we're going to try to set up that force plug first, an auto drive force. So this guy can kind of keep working. Um, and we can um, go do a little bit of exploring here and see what this self-propelled machine is all about. So I think I probably shouldn't drag that through the gravel and should pull it up. Uh, well, that's not a crash counter. That should be a big sky blunder. So we're going to cruise over to here and see I don't know, this may not be the best field to do this. I don't know if our 500 horse fence will be enough to pull 10,000 gallons of manure up this hill on this field, but we're going to check it out and try for sure, see what happens with it. So, alright. So, I did take the liberty of building the auto drive course and the course play courses before. So all we are going to do is wind up right here. Uh, I'm going to pull in to the field here. And we will call up our course play first and see what happens. Okay. So we've got our course play course down here. Course play worker is working. And he is just going to apply a flat amount there to whatever it might be. Just kind of give us a general amount on the field. Um, since we're not sure what crop we're going to put in there, we're just going to kind of put in a base and see where we go from there. So, so far. Looks like he is not having too much trouble here. So we're just going to let him go. We'll see how good of a course I recorded when he is empty. So from there, we are going to jump over to this guy. Um, as you can see, around the world here, um, the dealer has set up and done a little bit of work here with it already. Um, and so we want to, um, just do a little work, um, with it. Uh, dealer wants to get everything dialed in. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, kind of help right along with the dealer, get it set up and see how that all works. So, okay. So we get this guy started and... Let's see what's here. We're going to hold this guy. Oh, he doesn't have anything in. Ah! That looks like we have a beater left. Okay. So we're going to cruise him down. Um, looks like he does um, have a... Um, obviously the, the cultivator style, chisel style, shank style, whatever you want to call it. Um, ability to unload. Um, and to till the ground um, as we're unloading. There comes our guy back again. Um, and so I think we got this set up. We're going to hopefully not be in each other's way here. Okay. And we're just going to get out of his way. Okay. So we're going to get rid of this. This clean this screen up for you guys. So this is kind of sitting here, the operator's point of view here. Um, 
Looks like we've got a backup camera there to see what's going on behind us. We've got our Trimble GPS there, the nice straight lines. Um, we've got all of our machine functions on that screen there. I'm not sure who's doing the design of that screen. Um, uh, what company or anything like that. But uh, then we've got some uh, just some regular controls there. Um, I believe the brand is Cougar. Eager, eager. Not sure how you say it, so I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Um, and then it's a zoom hammer attachment on the back. Um, and so you can see the uh, guys from the dealership are taking it this is easy with this, going around the corner smooth, everything like that. Um, so they are. Um, it's going to pull up here and hopefully it'll automatically start filling. I believe it is, and we can check on that. Yep, it's going up there, so it's pumping it right in there. So we're full. Now we'll head back to the field here. They'll just kind of take it easy. And we will see you guys back at the field. Okay, so we're pulling back into the field here. And we are going to see um, how good this thing does with some automation. Um, this was kind of the setup and the stuff that Dealer wanted to um, explore with. So that is what we're working on right now. I'm up there working on something up and making sure it works. Looks like most of that is set up there. So we are going to take this opportunity to jump out, put the drone up, and kind of watch these guys do a little bit of work. Okay, so here we've got the drone up, and we will see kind of how the automation of this thing works. Okay, had a little trouble with the drone here, but I think we got it fixed a little bit better now. So, we'll kind of see if we can follow along here. Well, this thing appears to be doing a great job for us. So, um, obviously, it's going to be well, well out of our price range, but it does appear to be doing. Some good work. Let's see if we can do a little bit of drone work for you here and get the shots we want, but not completely make you all sick. And watch this turn here. There he goes on the next pass. And we'll kind of loop along behind him here just a little bit. that the uh, vent worker up there with the Hulu tank is working well. Let's 
see if we can't sneak in here for a little, a little bit closer drone work shot here. See, whoops, there we go. You get in the cab. Watch him do a little bit of work here. And then I think what we might do here on this end. Okay. So. Alright. So the. Uh. All right, so as we come back live here, the dealer has agreed to let us drive this bad boy. So we're going to make a couple of passes with it to end the video. And they were kind enough to set the video for us. Which was really dusty there. So this thing... I, it, it really works well. A little bit of a different view there, but... Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. So, I oh, know there's what all our control is doing. Okay. Now, what I haven't figured out here, as we jump back out to the outside, this big arm you can use, I believe, to load out of containers or open pits or things like that. Now, I don't know if it'll work with our big manure pit or not. Um, that is something obviously we'd have to try out. But like I said before, um, this is definitely not going to be um, a purchase that is in our future in any way. Um, this thing is pretty pricey. We'll take a second to uh, look at it here when we get down to the end here. We'll stop take a quick look at it. So is it, it is in the slurry tanks option. Uh, 381000 for just this um, machine. And then we can either get the Vibro, which is the coordinator style um, attachment um, that comes in at 25 grand. So not terrible for a double pass machine. Um, it is only 6.2 meters um, with a speed of 9 miles an hour. Uh, the Boom Tech, however, the track pack, is, uh, does come in at 18 big old meters, so about 60 feet, which is nice. Um, it comes in at 62,000, so we're going to be well over 400,000 for um, depending on which way we go. Um, and that's just obviously not in the cards yet. Um, but as our cows start producing, uh, that might be something for us uh, to try um, in the future. So we will line back up and uh, check it. Just check, make sure we're getting rid of some slurry, which we are. Um, it does work with precision farming. Um, we've got the manure attachment, the chunk ear manure attachment on there. So it is uh, going well, doing well, um, and it works great. So um, I think that is going to kind of bring us to the end of this video here a little bit. Um, we might jump over and check our uh, our own tractor here when we get to the end, uh, see how close he is to filling up, and then uh, then we might end the video there. So. Uh, next week we will look at the second half of this, um, which is the big, uh, that 60 foot boom that's just the spreader, that's not the cultivator with it, so we will check in with that and look and see what that does. Um, we did save that other field of hay down there right by the dairy, 
uh, to do with that machine and the dealer wants to play with that one a little bit as well. But it's kind of handy having the dealer right close by us um, so that we can look at this stuff and, and uh, give them a hand setting some of this stuff up. So, hope you enjoyed the show and let's jump over and check on our, our, our own tractor. See how he's doing. He's about half full. Um, looks like we got some interesting stuff going on um, with him putting down all sorts of rates. Um, kind of streaky there, so I'm not really sure what's going on. If it's just the the weird way he's got to turn, um, and just being being such a, a long machine but not very wide. Um, I wondered if we would have done better on, say, Skippero or something like that. Um, but not really sure why he's doing the, uh, the application so weird. Um, or if the soil is just that variable. But anyway, we will look into that a little bit more. And thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.